I have a new item to show you today. Let's uh, take a look at the box. These are LED lights for outdoor uh, projection, projector lights. And that's it. So let's take a look at it. Here it is. Uh, now with it you get two different ways you can mount it. You could do like put it in the ground like that. It also has this type of mount where uh, you can screw it into uh, like the side of a building post, something like that, if you want to have it up, up off the ground. You could also just sit it uh, like that as well. So you wouldn't have to, if you don't want to uh, do it into the ground, sit it up on a tabletop. It has a remote and what you can control besides the on off here is you can control how long it goes for two hours, four hours, six hours. That way it doesn't go on all night long if you happen to go to sleep early but you want it to go off maybe around midnight or so so it's not all night long. Um, you have, you can um, adjust the speed and I believe there's a flash mode on it too. And here is the actual projector. It is plastic so just Although most of the these projectors are, uh, that's where it attaches for mounting it, and it has two different um, light sources. So um, that's the layout. Actually, this is a, this is a different design than what I've seen for most of the projector lights that I've reviewed. Most of them are, sh are shaped a little more like like more like a gun shape <laughs> where you have a handle and then it sits on top so this one's a little different but um, anyway so that's what it looks like uh, it's uh, supposed to be like snowflakes which is actually my favorite type of projector lights um, and uh, I'm gonna wait till it gets dark and then we're gonna try it out and see how well it looks on the house outside here it is outside. Uh, covers a pretty good area. Snowflakes are interesting because you have different sizes moving in different directions. It is very windy right now so that's why it's moving. I don't really have it properly staked into the ground. Um, it looks better in person than it does on camera. It has a pretty decent coverage, but if you have a tall house, you might want to have one down and one up higher, or if you have a white house, you have one here and one there. But this covers my main area and the remote. It has the flashing part of it. I don't really like that. Um, you can freeze frame it, and I believe you can speed it up, although I'm not really sure how... <laughs> To use this remote. Okay, that's flashing. I don't really like that too much, but some people might up. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Flashing and more flashing. Okay, this is flashing where it's frozen, but it's flashing it. And this is flashing it up. Okay. I have not read the directions on this, so I'm sure there's a way to program the remote. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see if I can get a closer look at this. Um, the flakes look pretty nice. Um, I don't have really the best looking house to do this on, but uh, now it's shaking because it's windy. Um, let's see over here. Yeah, the snowflakes move around pretty good. I think this is a really nice speed. And you, you see this, you have one that's shaped like the classic snowflake and then you have the more the dots that are um, I'm knowing I'm seeing at least two sizes large and small. See that? Oh, um, yeah, I think, I think it's pretty decent for a snowflake light, but it doesn't cover a giant area, so if you really want to make a big statement, you might want to get a couple of these. 
Uh, so anyway, that's it for my review, and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.